I said, hey, yo. I said, hey, yo. I said, hey, yo. <laughs> one man army against 50, bro. I stand on Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> Ah! You should be scared of doing another one. Cowboys haven't beat a team of us by They beat a team right at five. But no, it's hard. It's hard because then they won't even play in the conference championship. <laughs> hey, forget all that. Hey, the whole year. And it ain't about fantasy. It's about the facts. No, that's not the thing. That is not the thing. You never. We just went viral for the wrong reasons again. Do you realize it all comes back to fraud? <laughs> <laughs> You just trying to see how we feel about that situation. Nah, I'm just kidding. And Blake Hall. I said, hey, yo. On the podcast, man. That boy said, quit playing with me. I am not one of them. Let's get it, twin. I said, hey, yo, man, episode 84. We're here. Prime, prime episode right here. Prime episode right here. Here we go. First week of October, quarter four. Let's lock in. Fourth quarter, man. Fourth quarter mm. of the year. First quarter of football down. Let's talk numbers, man. We're going to kick it off with number 84. We need to know the greatest athletes were the 84. Go. No. The greatest. Come on, man. When you say 84, you got one F. Who who is who is dousing that 84? Give me Brandy Moss again. Hey yo. Brandy Moss again. Brandy Moss. I respect that. Are we gonna are we gonna include the recent film of another 84? Exactly. You have to put them up there. Uh, we gotta put uh, Shannon Sharp. In the conversation, <laughs> we have a lot more film. Yeah, that's crazy. Exactly. But on the on the real note, right? Would you even say he's top three tight end of all time? Easily. Well, exactly. And I feel like that's that's less that's less greatness to deal with than wide receiver. Like, if you don't have Randy Moss in your top three, then I mean, huh? what you mean, huh? Oh, what you mean? What you what you mean? What you mean? I mean, like, is is less competition to be top three at tight end than it is at wide receiver? Cap. No, it's not cap. <sighs> Think of it like this. All right, Steve. Let me use Steve Smith for example. Excellent, great player, Hall of Famer, great player. Was he ever at one point? Exactly. Would you put him? Would you put him in your top ten? No. A conversation. Not. Hold on. All time. All time. A conversation can be had about putting Steve Smith top ten all time. Okay, he was like what the third, fourth best receiver of his time. No. Wait. Mm, you don't think no? Because his time is what, 2000s, late 2000s? Between 2000 and, and 2010, no. Best 2013, year, 14 ish. His best year was 2005. Terrell Owens, Randy Moss. He played in the era with Terrell, Randy, Calvin, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Larry. I, I'll put Steve over yeah. Chad. But they in Respect the same that. Andre Johnson, you know, people go back and forth between him and Andre Johnson. Megatron. I say Calvin. Yeah. Most so, of, I mean, that's most of the top 10, though. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, now you go to tight ends. You got Travis. Right now, you got Travis Kelsey, who we know he's going to be arguably. Is he, he going to be the greatest, greatest, though? Arguably. He probably will be the greatest. No. All right. I mean, so who would you put? who would you put in front of him? If we talking receiver, he's not uh, the best receiving tight end. He ain't the best Kansas actually, City tight end. Actually, technically, he is the best receiving tight end by numbers. He ain't the is best. He not? He's not the best Kansas I'm City. Taking, I'm taking Kelsey for receiving. Yeah, Kelsey is the best receiving tight end there is. You see who's throwing the ball to him? Bro, he was doing, he was doing what – no, he wasn't. Brock had Brady, though. 
Yeah, Gronk had Brady. No, I just said I'm not talking, talking about, about Tony Gonzalez. Exactly. Tony Gonzalez he's never had he's never had a thousand yards back to back to back. You want to know why I know that? You want to know why I know that? Because Greg Olson was the first one to do that. <laughs> so I know he Tony Gonzalez didn't do it. So it's kind of harder with tight ends because it's like, bro. After after your top five in tight ends, you got you. I think you have a drop in talent, bro. No, no, what? bro. Top no. five tight ends, bro. You got you got Gonzalez, Gronk, mm-hmm. Kelsey, um, Sharp. Antonio Gates. You, you could go. I probably put Antonio Gates there. That's five studs. Yeah, and then half who, of them, and half of them are next? champions. And then, yeah. you, and then we bring in rings in it, and it's a whole yeah. different conversation. Because Randy Moss, we talking eighty four, he ain't got rings. Antonio Brown got one. <laughs> he crazy. Yeah, he, he, like, he acted, he acted like AB. He acted he's like not AB. all right. He's not all right. <laughs> he's he's not all right. Now it is a, it is a fair point though. I think. Um, it's a higher volume of receivers because of the way the league is shaped, but the great tight ends are undoubtedly great. Like, yeah. there are some great receivers that may never make the Hall of Fame. Randy Moss, I mean, on paper. Yeah, that's, 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 that's for other reasons. And that's on paper, off. and if we're talking, we know Randy Moss is Randy Moss. But on paper, you can argue Antonio Brown. If I'm against okay, Randy Moss, yeah, I'm just saying stuff is that we know Randy Moss is top two on the field for sure. Yeah. Okay, AB led the league in receiving yards a couple times, four straight all pros. Randy Moss had four two; they were just stretched out. But AB did four straight. That's a crazy prime. He had he had Julio Jones in the league as well. Um, I mean, it's it's also you know it's also easier when you have him. Matthew Stafford as your quarterback, basically. And fucking AB down there somewhere. And, and AB won offensive player of the year. So, yeah. And Antonio, he was yeah. on an offense where his quarterback was throwing 50 times a game. Antonio Brown could easily be a top five wide receiver in somebody's list. And yeah. I, he. Yeah. If somebody put him in top five, you can you argue mad, it, but bro. you can't be mad. Like, you, you won't be, be like, bro, you're that. stupid. You're not stupid for doing that. Yeah, I think we talked about this a while ago, and it's not it's not absurd to say that um, he would be five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would be five because you're not taking him over Megatron. I don't think, right? No, Megatron's four. Did y'all see that picture of Megatron and DK, bro? Yeah, DK is six four two thirty. <laughs> is he six four? But you also shrink when you're in cleats. You kind of go down. What? You can't go down, bro. Right, not but, that deep, though. Not not as far they was off. Not not as far they was off. They was off like two, three. I don't sound right, but it do make sense because like your yeah. the cleats is seeping into the turf or the grass. Yeah, you kind of sink a little bit. But that was a that was a large differential. DK was eye level with his his chin. That's kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> he said, "Yo, what's up?" But yeah, man, 84, man, it's a tough one. Um, Randy Moss is, you know, in the streets. He clears. But, you know, when you talk about football and accolades, he, he's a little shorter than the other 84. So it is kind of. You could do it in the streets. You could do it in the sheets. Yeah. This 84 is taken. Huh. And, <laughs> and there you have it. Yeah. <laughs> 84. But, um, you know, I do want to get into that college football. We had a huge game this weekend. Georgia and oh, got straight to it. And I'm not going to lie, that was a tale of two games. Yeah. Um, first half, Alabama was looking like, I don't know. It was looking like, yeah, Saban was still there. It was BTA. For sure. Mm-hmm. What's up? What's up? Two minutes left. It's a tie game. So yeah, yeah. that was a huge game. But what was y'all takeaways from that game? Um, um, Ryan Williams. Brother, I know you had a great weekend. I know, I know your weekend was excellent. 
I know you had a ball. <laughs> um, Saturday night was the time to, you know, time to, time to, time to remember. Um, I, I like that Georgia finally came back because the way they was looking, I said, yeah. It, it made me question their offense. Like, completely, bro. Question their offense completely. It made me realize, like, where have I been watching this these last three years? Is their offense always been mediocre? And they just had – um. What's his name at tight end? Brock Briars? Brock Bowers. Bowers. Brock Bowers. And, and their defense was just so elite. And their defense is just not that elite this year. Is that the issue? Like, they had me questioning, like, what is Georgia? But they came back. They showed some heart from that back alley beat down. I think Jalen Milrow had 400-plus yards by himself. Four touchdowns. Yeah. And he came out a Heisman candidate as expected. You know, whichever quarterback won that game was coming out a Heisman candidate. Um, he's not number one on the Heisman board, but he, he his name he he might be in New York. At yeah. Least. yeah, yeah, he should be. Yeah, he should be. Because another person got taken off that list, but we we stay on this game. Stay. I think um, I think I think they will play again. If not in the SEC championship, probably the playoff. Um, <sighs> You saw two teams that played great halves of football. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I can't even say that Alabama is undoubtedly the best team in the in the world. They have the best win in the world right now. Um, yes. But both of those teams, if they both play complete games, I don't know who wins because I think it was a great game overall. Um, Jalen Williams, arguably the best receiver in the world, arguably. Nope. He's not, even the he's not even the best. Yeah, he's not even come. He's he. It's one A one B. It's one A one B. But that's freshman, yo. Cut it as that, as a fan of the team up north, bro, we got a problem. He we just. I mean, problem. he just went crazy against a Georgia. He just made two Georgia DBs run into each other. Play playmaker for sure. Yeah, playmaker. I mean, those plays, and this is not just against Georgia, bro. This has been a weekly thing for Jalen Williams. He's 17. Yeah. Um, uh, playmaker. Minor. No. <laughs> <laughs> playmaker, man. Um, but yeah, I I you know the drive boards are very fluid this year. There's no no there's no consensus number one when it comes to quarterback. Um yeah. I've seen like three, four different quarterbacks go number one from Quinn Ewers to um Sugar to even Carson Beck. Cam. Cam. Um, have I seen Cam Ward at number one? Yes. I yes. don't think so. I don't think so. But that's what I'm saying, even to my point, though. The list has been fluid. There's no consensus. Um, and what I saw from Carson Beck, man, I saw I saw a limited arm. Um, a lot of the throws he were making, it was one throw. Like he was making one throw. He has a nice he he know how to put some air under the ball. He know how to float it, but the the reason he threw a pick, bro, because he was throwing the same ball from you know all up and down the field. It it worked to get him back in the game, but um, eventually he threw the same ball back to back, and that's why he got picked off the second time in uh, yeah. the last two minutes. Um, but it's not really you know I see a limited arm as for like when we talked about C.J. Stroud coming out, ball placement was elite. So um, I seen I've seen they had the Panthers taking Carson Beck, and we're like the number two pick. I wouldn't do that. I'm not. <laughs> I will burn. I will go burn the stadium down. I wouldn't. Nah, do nah, that. You're you're getting recorded. Remember, that. <laughs> I don't care. Bro. I don't care bro. Keep pounding. But yeah, um, we learn. I feel like we learned a lot about the quarterbacks. I haven't seen a lot of Jalen Milrow hype as far as drive wise. I don't yeah. know if it's because of. Because he's a junior, right? The black quarterback thing. I don't know if it's because he's a mobile quarterback or what. But even last year, Jalen Milrow was a threat at quarterback. Um, and he definitely should be talked about more. Not only for eh, – I can't say Heisman, but he should be talked about more as far as more than Carson next, level, next level. Yeah, more than Carson Beck. Carson Beck stuff, That's bro. horrible. That's horrible. Yeah. That's worse That's worse than – um. Sorry, person. It's worse than um, old dude out of UNC. What's his name? That's y'all pick over everybody. Mitchell Trubisky. Mitchell. Yeah. 
Yeah. Worst Boy, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't forget. Uh, oh, you think Carson oh. Beck is that bad? I don't think he's I that mean, bad. I think when he showed, I think he showed a great mindset because it you, takes a lot for him to come back. Are you just saying like over yeah, Deshaun right. and over Patrick Mahomes? If you got yeah, 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 hundred percent. There are a few. There are a few that he's be, that's better than him. Yeah, I, um, let's talk. Carson, if Carson, Carson Beck was Carson uh, Johnson, fifth round. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he and um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't see how he'd be any better than uh, what's the, the quarterback they had last year, Stetson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not on the roster right now, is he? I think he made the round. I thought it was a backup. He the got he, he got cut, didn't he? Or he he on practice score? I thought he got cut. I don't know. Potentially, it's not worth good like, um, Oh well, and that so that loss that loss dropped. Georgia to number five outside of the top four. Y'all think that is fair? For um, now. I mean, Texas, Ohio State, and then Tennessee is ahead of them as well. Yeah. As for now. I'm okay with it for now because t- Texas got to play Alabama or Georgia. 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 They can get there. They, they play, can go they play earn Georgia it. and Texas, though. They can and, go earn it back. And Tennessee got to play Bama and Georgia. Both of them. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, it, it, okay. it is yeah, I'm good with it. Can we had a big win, they beat Oklahoma um this week. Um, what you what, what, what are you what are you fishing at, Eric? What you what you get to oh, talk about? My hater, my hate, my hate almost won last week, man. I said there were some pretenders on here in number seven, number seven, almost lost to Virginia Tech, bro. I mean number eight. Number eight now. They were number seven oh, when they played. Okay. They were number seven. Yeah, that was a crazy game too. That was I, the first conference game, that right? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. their first conference game. How do y'all feel about the ending of that game? When you talk about they lost. cards falling in the right place, Miami's whole last drive, last drive was abysmal. Everything just fell into place for them. For them to even tie yeah. the game back up, um, I mean, they was fumbling, fumbling uh, snaps. Yeah. Kimmel had a crate broke a crazy Boy. sack. That was a crazy sack. Tight end slipping on routes. Everything just fell into place for them, man. It was like it was that hurt for Vincent Tate. I know that hurt. And Drones <laughs> proved that he's a he's a solid quarterback. Yeah. I hate it on two teams. Was Ole Miss the second team? I said as pretenders. Who's the second team? I said Miami. I don't Did know. I say Ole Miss? Because they um, lost. I, I think I think the ACC is in a crazy spot right now because you would think that Miami was going to be the favorite before Friday, and then what they put on Friday, it's like uh, it's anybody's conference. It looks like Clemson could mess around and win the ACC. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I don't think they play each other. No. So I, it's I don't like, think they have another ranked game to Louisville. The AC championship will be interesting for sure. Um, Cam Ward is still – I think he's still a Heisman candidate. But I don't think he'll win because that's not a that's not a good thing to have on a resume. But it's like what Heisman candidate will have a great resume. There's all the downsides to every every one of them. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna be perfect. Yeah, you know? um, I, like I, I said, like they, the start the week, they was down, weren't they? They were down in that game. Like, yeah, yeah they, 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 yeah. they actually came back and won. It was uh, it was a uh, um, they were down pretty big at one point. So um, I mean, he did pull off the comeback at the end of the day, um. That call is tough. I think that was like one of the most 50 50 calls to end the game. Yeah. Um, it was very tough. It was limited ang- uh, camera angles. I would I would have called it a catch. That's just, that me. Too. That's just bias aside. I don't, I don't think they should have reversed it. I think yeah. whatever call they should have should have made, they should have stuck with it. I wouldn't have called it a catch in the beginning, but when you call it a touchdown. And then you go reverse it in that in that mess. It's like, bro, that's they were pressured by the home yeah. team. Sure. They wanted to make it home safe. 
somebody made a call because, like you said, the ACC is a mess and ACC needs a powerhouse. They 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 desperately need somebody to represent them. And if Miami loses, it's not a good look because that might be their best chance. But um, yeah, it was not it was not reversible evidence in my opinion. Yeah. Um, like crazy play, pr- crazy game. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this right now: Miami's not it. They're finna go on the losing streak. Right. They're finna go on the losing streak, bro. Right. Uh-huh. Who? When? When does it start? Louisville. We just said last week that Miami has the easiest schedule, and they're not gonna lose. And they show they play one rigged game, and now they're going on the losing streak. Yeah, they're going to lose the streak. They're, everybody's they're played, Louisville. Everybody's played. Everybody is going to have a close game, at least one. Yeah, that's nice. They're going to lose to Louisville. They're going to lose to Duke. They're going to lose to Georgia Tech. Right. And then <laughs> they might win out. So you got Miami going. What is that? 11 and – what is that? 11 and 3? 3, 6, 9, 12. You got them going 9 and 3. Okay. Really? Yeah. Best at best. Nine and three at best. You yeah. heard it here first. At best. You heard it here because, first. Because it's the same Miami team, bro. It's nothing different, bro. For the last four years, we ranked this Miami team, and then they also they always give it up towards the middle and the end, bro. So how, you feel about the, so how you feel about the Louisville team that just lost to Notre Dame then? I mean, Notre Dame is a solid team. They had a miss up when they lost to um, Northern Iowa. Oh, no. Northern Illinois. Oh, what? Right. Yeah. Nah. Shit like that happens. No. Yeah. No. Because no. then Alabama lose to when you then they used to University of Louisiana Monroe. When ULM. did that ever happen? No, we well, let's just keep it in this season. I mean, it's the same consistent Miami team we've seen. Rank, do solid, lose, lose, lose. Like that's the because that's what we have seen consistency from Miami. So, so if that if that is the case. Mm-hmm. Cam Ward might not make it to New York. If he don't, I mean, how many people make it to the to New York? Four. Four. And two of them are solidified. Travis Hunter. That too. Travis, Travis Hunter. Hunter. And um. Ashton Gentry. Ashton, yeah. That that's solidified too. And right now, Jaylen I feel Miller. like Jalen Milrow. If they beat Georgia, I don't see – even if they do lose one game. Yeah, I'll if he keep there. playing like this. Jalen Miller. Not, there. Y'all going to say Shadur. Y'all going to say – no. Y'all going to say um, – would it be crazy if Jalen goes and his wide receiver go? No, it wouldn't. If Ryan no. Williams go? It wouldn't be crazy. I don't think – I don't think Jeremiah Smith – He's definitely – they definitely fighting for the best wide receivers in college football as yeah. a freshman, hands yeah. down. Yeah. My boys score every 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 game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, don't, I just don't think y'all have the blockbuster games like – Yeah, Ohio State don't think about it for the last two weeks of the season, bro. Yeah. It, yeah. it kills so me. I think that's uh, the, we got, we got that's Oregon in two thing. weeks. We got Oregon in two weeks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do y'all play Notre Dame this year? Light pack. We got we got we got Oregon and we got Penn State. No 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 Notre Dame. No Notre Dame. No Notre Dame. We got we got two we got three top ten matchups on the schedule. Stop playing. Mm-hmm. It's gonna get that's 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 why that's why it is a conversation because Ryan Williams has had he's played Georgia like you said. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah Smith ain't play nobody, but he's doing stuff they're not doing in the NFL. One hand snags. Yeah. So like yeah. One hand joint. Same nah, hand I ain't gonna lie. When I see him at his cover. first Ohio State practice, I said, "This year I ain't worried about it because we still got Will Johnson." But the next two years, he's gonna fry Will Johnson. He's gonna drop Will Johnson's draft stock. Who who's done that yet? Who's done that yet? It's not about he ain't seen him yet, Jeremy. Bro, he's seen everybody that walked in Ohio State. <laughs> Hold on, my bad. Let me see what is what is his uh what's his physical. Yeah. All he got to do is show it. What's his physical? Hey, yo. <laughs> All he got to do is show it. 6 3 2 15. Nah, he's a, he looks like he look he looks like he looks like an eighth grader in sixth grade recess, bro. 
No cap. <laughs> like sure. that is the difference between him and Ryan Williams. Ryan Williams, you he looks 17. Bro, and the crazy thing is, I don't know what they feed him in Ohio State, but he looked just like Ryan. Well, mm, a little more muscular. Out of high school, just a little more. He he looks scrawny. But now he looks, it. yeah. But now he looks like he he can be ready to go to NFL to yesterday. But that's what it is. Is yeah, he he's NFL ready. I, I actually believe that at yeah. eighteen. Um, yeah. Ryan low key too. Um, but you gotta wait. Ryan, y'all know he's related to Geno Smith. He's also related to Serena Williams. Serena Williams. No, Ryan Williams is related to Serena Williams, and Jeremiah Smith is related to Geno Smith. Oh, uh, we don't give a damn about that. We talk about Serena Williams. It was not nah, Geno Smith. That's pretty tough. Because I was wondering why he all he had so much like he had so much like takes on him. That Jeremiah Smith can be the best wide receiver ever. Blah blah blah. blah. I'm like they're related. Sure. I must, be Gino Smith, I, I must be Geno Smith. I feel the same way. I must be Geno Smith. I feel the same way. Yeah, nah, they they're both gonna be very cold. Um, but they're still, can, not, can, they're still not Travis Hunter though. Can a wide receiver like that really be a face? Of the yeah, Tra- Tra- Travis Hunter is a different. Is a oh, different yeah. Breed. He's yeah. a different. He's just a different athlete. Yeah. What we say last week? He averaged a touchdown and an interception every game. Every game, bro. And he put up 12 and 18 from this hand on the Heisman. I think he is clear cut number one in the Heisman race right now. Try yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely, he definitely should be going into the bye three and one. Well, four and one, excuse me. Four and one. And we have to talk about Colorado again. We do. We <laughs> actually do. We actually do. Four wins, they we, did. Did, we said they were going to get four wins all season. They yeah. went in there yeah. and whooped on uh, UCF. Yeah, and they were four, two, 14 point underdogs. We thought UCF was tough. Maybe they still are. Was it UCF? Yeah, it was UCF. Oh, no, you, you, yeah, UCF, University of Central Florida, um, Orlando. Yeah. And then they go, and then they play Kansas State in two weeks. Uh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a game. Colorado has a remember it's 12 teams. They have a pathway to that college football playoff. If if they're gonna play like the way they played last week, they actually have a chance in getting no facts. Yeah, I'm looking at their schedule. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Their worst it's team is what bad. Utah, Cincinnati. No, you mean the best team they play? The best team they play is Utah. Yeah, U- Utah. Utah. Yeah. If they beat Kansas State off of the bye week, you got to rank them. They're going to be ranked. Yeah. And it's a conversation to be, and we got to start talking about them again. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's Do you no trust them? It's it did no this last year. Do you trust <laughs> them? Bro? Do you trust them? Bro? <laughs> And it's happening again, bro. It's like, like you said, bro. They so wishy washy off yeah. the field, bro. It's weird. Yeah. It's but, like Dion to be Dion, bro. It's it's weird, bro. Like when they up, bro. They the cockiest team in the country. Not they shaking Newton. Cam Newton hand. Exactly. You got you got Dion on the nightcap. They. I took that shit personal. Talking, you know what I'm saying? Talking about, you know what I mean? Live they, footage or whatnot. Exactly, but when they bro. lose, bro, it's. I I can't say this about them though. We did see them get a good win, and Shadur didn't have to throw four hundred yards. And that's also big as well. Yeah, yeah two ninety. Oh, oh, you say yeah. he had to throw four hundred yards? Are you yeah, sure? that's and that's that's defense exactly. because running back they best they best <laughs> running back thirty nine thirty nine. And I think that's the problem. If you can't run the ball in the Big 12, NCAA, the video game, you're cooked in general. So the fact that they don't have a run game, let's say they do make the playoff, I think it's a very early exit. But it will be a very impressive thing if they actually make the college football playoffs. Like, might be team of the year, no cap. Even if they make it to the 
do Big Twelve have a conference champ? Yeah, they do. Even mm-hmm. if they make it to the conference championship or anything, I mean, like you, like like we like 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 us, we are the media. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the media said, we capped them at four wins, so they already out. Well yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's already looking like um a good season for them. So yeah, yeah we had him losing this. Man, Travis Hunter, that that's. Psh- it's not a lot of words you can use for him, man, other than bland, apparently. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> and that, and what's killing me about that is, like, I would think that basketball players would have more time. I feel like basketball players head on to their pride a little bit more because basketball is a little bit more of a selfish sport where you can – the things you do impact the team a lot more in regards to percentage. But, like, for football players to be hating – and claiming that Travis Hunter can't do this, can't do that, bro, it's getting absurd because, like, every week he's starting to prove that wrong. Okay. It's like, what they going to say, bro, if he mess around and win the Heisman? What they going to say? They going to say nah. I'm, I'm glad Debo played it safe. He said, man, he's giving on both sides of the ball. I guess he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> he said whatever, the, whatever they allow him to do, whatever he want to pick, I feel like he'll be good at either one. Yeah. That was smart. That's a business decision right yeah. there. Yeah. Debo is the first player, first player I've seen like give him prop for you know being a a double edged sword. But yeah, he could do whatever he want. He is the best receiver. He is the best corner for that team. Mm-hmm. Is he the best receiver in the country? Receiver. No, didn't we just say it, bro? Star base cut. Star base cut. Oh, God. Nah, because you know, I feel like when, when we say in the country, there's a couple more people we have to take into account outside. But we can star bench cut the, the three hottest names if that's what y'all want to do. Yeah, because I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about nobody else. And that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I don't want to I'm sorry. I don't I don't talk about this moment. I don't want to talk about old dude from Missouri. He's been sleep. I don't want to talk about old dude from Arizona. All right. Don't... All right. That's fine because him and Travis are going to play in three weeks. They played last yeah. year. Mm-hmm. They're going to play in three weeks. Yeah. And then it's going to, it's going to set itself out on the field. Wait, yeah. which one's the one that gave him freaking yeah. Dickie numbers? Was it Arizona? <laughs> nah, <laughs> that, was, that was Stanford. It was Stanford. Stanford. So the dude from Arizona didn't even do freaking Dickie yeah. numbers on, on – um, was he hurt? Was Travis hurt when they played Arizona? Nah. Travis did get hurt last year. He, remember, he got hurt for Colorado State. I don't think he played Arizona, did he? Um, that was a close game. Go they did almost. They played Arizona State. I don't even know if they played Arizona. Now nah, Travis did play against Arizona. And yeah, he had to. But he had nine catches, 107, and a tidy. That doesn't mean he was guarding him then. Right. right. Technically, you know, it's not like he follows. But yeah, go ahead. Start bench cut. Travis Hunter, Jeremiah Smith, Ryan Williams. Say, go ahead, Brandon. Go first. Very straightforward. I just said it in order. Start Travis, bench Jeremiah. Well, if we talking receiver, I'm going to start Jeremiah, bench Travis, and cut Ryan Williams. That was very easy, simple. <laughs> oh, give me nah. I'm sorry. You got to give me Jeremiah Smith. Hey yo, bench Williams. I'm sorry, Travis. I. I can use you on defense. I'll cut you. I like the answer. That's fair. I'm not going to I'm not mad at you. Ah. Let me see. Let me see, Travis. Let me I see, see Travis. Uh, I, the, let me see his dynamic. Well, it's not dynamics. What is it called? Dimensions. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You sound like Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Nah, nah, nah. That Travis, Travis awesome. six one one eighty five. Ah uh, Ryan Williams is six foot one seventy five. Jeremiah Smith six that's, uh, Bro, wait, Ryan Williams, he not six two, six three? No, he's no, six foot. He's short. Bro, no, but that's, be- that ain't no problem because Devontae Smith is is the is the is the, is the protocol prototype. He's the best. He's the best. Uh, he's the best Alabama wide receiver as of today. But Ryan Williams could be, yeah, arguably the best Alabama player ever. 
Oh, whoa. Did we not just see Mr. Old, old, old man win people fantasy? Taking a, how long was it, 81? Yeah. Derrick Henry win the Heisman? Yeah. Fair. Fair. Broke Hustle Rocker's record, SEC. Fair. Mm-hmm. That Ryan being Williams better than, two more years. Being better than That's Derrick it. Henry, a college running back, bro, a wide receiver being better than a college running back, you have to put up immaculate numbers. Like, beat Michael Crabtree 1,900 yards. You got to put 2K. Bro, he has two years. He has two, yeah, but, he has two more years after this. But I don't think an Alabama wide receiver is touching 2K. Why not? Devontae Smith already did it with Mac Jones. But not straight, not not straight wide, not straight reception yards, right? All purpose yards, yes. I kept saying two thousand with Mac Jones, but to answer the question, ah, I'm I'm starting. Hey, bro, no, you just... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. I say, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't the one walk to the belly of the shuttle. <laughs> Bro, I'm I'm like that announcer, bro. I'm watching highlights, bro. I'm watching it. Tataro versus Travis. Oh, Christian. oh that's what you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. right. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> My fault, um, gang. Uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start Ryan Williams. Then Travis Hunter. Jerry right. Okay. Next question. Anyway, um, we call round on that. Against Georgia, against Georgia, man. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, wait. Then why are you? Never mind. Who Travis Hunter do it against then? Exactly. Uh, the offense and defense. Next question. We talking about wide. We talking about offense only. Nah, yeah, we talking try. about wide receiver. Imagine, imagine, imagine though. Because we doing a mat, we we doing a situation. This is a scenario, right? So imagine if he was only a wide receiver. Yeah, I don't know if it's because I don't know if it's because of you know the number of snaps Travis played, but Travis with the ball in his hand, you know what I'm saying? He's like a he 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 acts like Tyler Lockett a lot. You know he he don't know how to, he don't know how to finish plays. He don't know how to take a hit. If we want to talk wide receiver and things like that, you know what I mean? He go get the ball. He's a natural ball hawk, which is why he's great at what he do. But we really want to talk about wide receiver. But nonetheless, like I said, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see uh, him play Tataro McMillan. That's his name. About three weeks. From up. Uh, that boy's nasty. He's nice. Um, I was cooking him last year, but. You know, Travis was dealing with injuries and stuff like that. Um, let's so, get into so that touchdown was on Travis? I know you yes. watched the highlights. Yes, okay. one hand. One hand, back shoulder. Very disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was sitting here like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Close friend highlights. Um, hey, yo, yours. All right. Bro, bro. bro. <laughs> nah, that's nah. <laughs> What wrong? What wrong with the kid, bro? <laughs> what wrong with the kid? Um, y'all know how we like to do the NFL. Though. We can start with the power rankings because here we go. Um, do, 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 do. It's still. It was an interesting week. Oh shoot, we on week five. I didn't update. The, um, interesting week. We had a few undefeated fall. Um, starters off number one team in in the, in, the, in the NFL, and we can carry on from there. Y'all want me to start it off? Go ahead. I'm going to come out and say it, man. Best team in the NFL right now is the Minnesota Vikings. Respect. <laughs> Brando, who you got number two? I mean, I'm going to put the Chiefs at two. Then. 
I'm gonna make it dicey. Come on, bro. Right now, this list is fluid, fluid, <laughs> right, fluid. Uh, nah. Bro, all just aside, give me the commanders, bro. Give me the commanders. Uh, they got better wings than all of them. No, they do not, they don't, bro. They don't have better wins. They don't have better wins. Oh, well, then Tampa. Oh, well, Tampa is probably the only one I put above them. Right oh, now. Bro, bro, bro. And we start, hey man, first quarter in the ride, we start that bullshit. They look fluid, bro. No, okay, we'll talk about it. Bro. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Keep going. At three, though, right? At three is crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, come I, on. Listen, bro. listen. It's only one other team I put above them. Okay, it's 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 on you, Preston. Give me um, give me Tampa Bay. What? The only other team. That no, that's a great pick. That's the only team I was talking about. That's the team I was talking about. That's the only other team I put above them. At five, I'm putting the Baltimore Ravens. They have the best win of the season. That's fair. That's a fair statement. Um They lost to the Raiders, though. I'm not hearing that. Uh, okay. Um, give me, give me Detroit. Yeah, give me Detroit. No motion for them. <clears throat> you said no what? No motion for them. They was at six last week. They beat the team we didn't think was legit anyway. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's facts. Because they was undefeated, we had a one seven. I didn't think they were legit. Eight, nine, they were nine. nine. Damn, damn, ruthless. Who is it, Brandon? Uh, or or no, person? that's on me. They don't look good either, bro. <sighs> this is not rocket science. Give me the Texans. That's back. Right. I will put the Bills at eight. Mm. Only because they got a win against the Falcons and they decent. Give me, give me Pittsburgh Steelers. Even though they got a bad L with the backup quarterback technically. Yeah, we'll have to talk about Joe Flacco. Um, seven, seven. Finish, finish this off. Pause. Falcons. Good pause. Great pause. Positive. Yeah. <laughs> Falcons. Okay. All right, this is what y'all came up with. Vikings, Chiefs, not mad at that. Commanders at three is so egregious. What about them make them the third best team, the best team with a loss? Why are they the best so, team with a loss? So, honestly, it was like between them and Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, I would respect that. That's the only other team I would have put above the Commanders. Why? Hey, bro, they – they hot, bro. They hot, bro. What win? They on win streak. Are, are you not the one that say the Bengals are better than a record? They beat the Bengals. The Cardinals, solid team. They put forty. Mm. They put forty two on the head. I don't. They don't scoring. Know. They can score, bro. They scoring, bro. Who have a bottom two defense in the league? Yeah, they scoring, bro. Right. They're putting up numbers, bro. The only other team I would say is Tampa Bay. I can let that slide. And they lost but, to Tampa Bay head to head. Yeah. That's the only that's the only team I'll put ahead of them. Bro. That's why I said week to week. This week, I got I got Washington, bro. Washington they look good. Has given up 102 points in four games. Yeah, sounds like that defense is not hot. I'm not saying the defense is hot, but I mean they gave up 33 to the Bengals, pretty bad. 
They only gave up 14 against the Cardinals and 18 against New York. And 27. On their street. Yeah. When we talk on the street. We're talking top three teams. These are teams that are yeah. honestly Super Bowl contenders here. No, I said my my list is fluid. Week by week. This week, I got I got Washington Commanders. No, bro. That's that's literally what I said. Week by week. I'm going with Washington Commanders this week. That defense. You can't you can't have half a team in top three. Bucks have a better defense. Ravens have a better defense. Lions have a better defense. Texans have a better defense. Bills have a better defense. Steelers have a better defense. Everybody on this list has a better defense than them. How many have a better offense? I can't say they have a better offense than everybody on this list. I'm not going to go as far as to say that. Who the, who, the, who, the, who the commanders got this week? And they haven't beaten nobody. They haven't beaten nobody um, this, on this top 10 list. They have the Browns, then they play Baltimore. We'll see week six. Yeah. but No, seven, right? Wait. No, they ain't gonna, it shouldn't be no Bonds. Yeah, right six. Now. Yeah, week six. We'll see. Um, I think it's I think it's a twofold to that to that to that conversation because they haven't played nobody and still gave up one or two and they're but they're also a talk of the town number three maybe not but I do I do they I do think they're a top ten team um hmm. I think the only team that they're I think uh. I think the Vikings, bro, the reason why the Vikings aren't the like, number one team to me is because there is no signs of struggle. Um, did you not yeah, see either side of the ball? Game? See the what game? Did you not see the second half of that game? Bro, they took second care of business what first. Game? What are you talking about? The Packers game. What do I need to see? Oh, oh, he's saying because they came back. It, it was 29 to 31. Bro, Sam Darnold I mean, threw for – he threw for 20, he threw 20 and 28, 275 for three and a pick. To to be fair, you want to nick pick that. I mean, all the Kansas City games been like that. Kansas City, Kansas City, Kansas City, everybody's giving Kansas City a run for that money, which what we knew. Um, which is what we knew. And I think the reason that they are what they are is because of their defense more than our offense. For sure, That's they have it. injuries. They the Chiefs definitely have injuries. Oh, brother, Patrick Mahomes with the womp 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 of the year, bro. How do you throw a pick and take out your best weapon on offense. How do you do that? No, nah, it's pretty crazy because he because uh, he wants a new one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he wants a new one. <laughs> if he can afford a new one and get a new one, that would be crazy. Talk about it because Devontae. there is somebody on the trade block. Yeah, and the Dolphins talking about trading too. No cap. What the fuck they need? A, they get traded for who, who? A quarterback? Damn. Dolphins about a clean house because it's it's a it's a nightmare down there. Yeah, but carry on with the Chiefs. We get into all of that. Um, their defense, uh, yeah. best quarterback. Their defense, um, their defense is the talk of the town. Exactly. Um, I and think so, the, is, so is the Vikings. They so lead the, Vikings. the league in sacks. So is the Vikings. Um, I think to say that that looks like the Super Bowl right now, it's disgusting to say. <laughs> it's very disgusting to say. But, bro, like, nobody saw this Vikings thing happen. The fact that they beat the Packers and Green Bay was big, bro. It that was big. First half. Bro. That, that was, was crazy. crazy. So, uh, they put up. I shout out to him. Um, we know who I would like, you know, to him to turn the season around. You know, what I'm saying they started on a good foot Sunday night. Oh, they have, the, I, I believe, they have the best win of the season. Uh, the way they handled the Bills, the Ravens, the way they handled the Bills, who were three and oh, and no, they was in Baltimore, but um, the way they handled them, the way they, they sucked the life out of that team, you know, is. It's absolutely it was absolutely ridiculous. Um the double AL is crazy. <laughs> the double AL is absolutely crazy. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna entertain that. They just 
They just got off a win again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that game, Miami. The chest versus the head. And then, um, bro, bro, do the worst team in the league have one of the highest paid quarterbacks, bro? Bro, you talking about the Jaguars? Yes. Um, bro, they don't want to talk about it. Where what is, is it? Three? Wait, no, Travis Hunter from Georgia. Amy. Yeah, he's from yeah. he's from um outside Atlanta. Well, Florida wants some bad. That's all I'll say. Whether it's Jaguars or Dolphins, because Florida State couldn't have them. <laughs> One of them Florida NFL team said they want to get them. Very fair. But yeah, that 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 Jaguar stuff is mind boggling, bro. Because Trevor Lawrence is obviously over. He's overpaid. Not it. Um, he had a high what two years ago. Um, Doug Peterson came in, kind of helped his career. It seemed like it was going in the right trajectory. Um, getting Justin Herbert out of the playoffs, that twenty eight zero comeback in the playoffs. I love that game. Was Travis Etienne a rookie last year or no? Um, um, he that was his first year playing. Remember, he got hurt his rookie year. Travis he didn't Etienne play his rookie year. He had a great first season on yeah. the field. Evan Ingram was looking like a top five tight end. Um, yeah. So I, the way that this team has fell apart, bro, it actually makes no absolute sense, bro. It makes no sense. Um, the offense stinks. Yeah. It's very limited, bro. It's like one of the worst offenses in the league. And like you said, one of the, one of the highest paid quarterbacks. It don't make a sense. Stinky, a stinky, stinky, stinky defense. I mean, yeah, defense sucks too, bro. So um, only, only logical option is that Travis Hunter will be in the draft this year and they're trying to replace Jalen Ramsey. Fair. You see, and I think that's another reason why. I mean, you know how people try to be different. Being different in the draft is not the way to go. Because you pick Walker over Aiden Hutchinson, and you look stupid. Was that, uh, was that being different? What? Uh, yes, it was being different because he was the clear cut best DN. If you Walker, want to DN. Walker was coming from Georgia, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm, where he had yeah, no, I, no numbers. I'm taking that pick every time, respectfully. I think you want to go back and look at Walker. Aiden Hutchinson, Aiden Hutchinson, who had who had four sacks for his first three, four years of his career. And that's is that not how many Walker had his senior his the year he got drafted? What was his numbers? They were horrible, were they not? They drafted him off of potential. I don't even know his name, but um, what's uh, uh some bro, Walker? Bro, y'all know how I feel about SEC ball, man. I'm taking that pick too. I'm not saying that that. It looked like it was a dumb decision now, but we didn't know that the Lions was going to steamroll like they steamrolling now. We just saw Jared Goff throw 100% completion. You take a Sam out of Missouri back in the day, number one? Come on, yo. Okay. Nah, that was a crazy pull. I don't even know. It's SEC. SEC. You said, you know how you feel about the SEC boys. Nah. He was the SEC player of the year. Player of the year. Yeah, defensive player of the year. No, player of the year. Period. Right. Defensive player of the year. The Michael Spare, right? Here's my here's my thing. <laughs> here's my thing about the Lions, bro. Uh, I'm not even gonna entertain that. Um, <laughs> the Lions look crazy, but like the city's behind them now, bro. Like, yeah. We think the Lions are a good football team now. And I'm not saying that they're not. What I'm saying is who would have thought that we're saying Lions are a good football team due to a due to a couple trades that are, is is speaking on Jared Goff's career, bro. Like yeah. We got to talk about Jared Goff a little different now. Yeah. And Was he yeah. ever really bad? He did get to the Super Bowl. Number one overall pick. Right. He, he was definitely a guy. Same with Sam Darnold, bro. It's like. Nah, it's not the same with Sam. Sam may get his team. I was saying same with Sam Darnold in the sense that, like, oh. coaching oh. matters, bro. Coaching yeah. really matters. Um, 
and it's like it's very highlighted this year. It's like, and it's honestly like you know you got a second guess when a when a quarterback is playing bad. It's like, is it really the quarterback? Mm -hmm. Justin Fields probably had the best game of his season, even in a loss. But he's mm -hmm. three and one, leading his division, right? Yeah, no cap. Leading his division. Yeah. Ravens two and two. Bengals suck. Browns suck. <laughs> Straight to uh, it. Browns, Browns got tough coming back. It might change. Yeah, he's at practice this week. He'll be that back might. in two or three weeks. But if they talking about, well, there's going to be some shakeups coming, coming on, going on because, like we said, uh, Chiefs need a wide receiver. They need help. That Xavier Worthy is not going to get them to the end of the season. Respectfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Respectfully. Definitely not with uh, Travis Kelsey sleeping. Travis Kelsey is washed, bro. Like game laundry, bro. And um, well, we got Juju Smith, Juicer, and whatever. So, yeah. Wait, Juju still on that team? I think yeah. they brought him back because he was with New England last year, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. But it's going. It's going to take the Chiefs losing like one or two or three games. And Patrick Mahomes throwing like it's gonna be. I can see it now, bro. It's gonna be one of them games they lose. Patrick Mahomes makes some errant mistakes. It's fine now because they're winning, but they're gonna be losing. Even when the <laughs> even when the Robert receivers he hits them in their hands, I can still throw it a little bit better. The Chiefs <laughs> have initiated crazy. a train with Devonte Adams, and I'm gonna. I'm about to say that. Hey, I don't Christian, think can you pick up the phone right quick. <laughs> Hey, oh, uh, is this this Las Vegas? <laughs> hey, uh, I know we're in the same division, That's but I the, heard I heard you need some. I got it. I got it for you. You need a second round Raiders. pick. The Raiders don't want a second round pick. I mean, because he does cost a lot of money, but um, I don't think they do it because it's in division. But he is on the trade block. I heard Amari Cooper in Cleveland is not working out. He leads the leagues in drops. Which is very uncharacteristic of him because when he's with Dallas, he actually is going seasons without drops. So I think he's trying to drop his way out of Cleveland. Um, <laughs> Somebody it's, that's crazy. It's a couple receivers who, who – big names and obviously some little names as well that will pop up later. But those are like Hill? names. Nah, I don't think so. He said he said he woke up to trade farmers. They wouldn't get rid of Terry. Thirty million is hard to get rid of. I think they both getting thirty million. Do Do Devonte Adams have any dead cap hit though? He don't got no more guaranteed money. I think, but his cap hit for the rest of the season is like thirteen, fourteen million. Because um, for the other team, obviously the Raiders been paying him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think Kansas City will make a move once they start losing, dropping a couple games. Wait, will they drop a? They got a big game coming up, don't they? The Saints, uh, Saints 49ers. So, um, Saints, Saints are frauds, bro. I fraudulent. Are they fraudulent? Yes. Or are the Falcons here? Bro, they lost to the Eagles and the Falcons. The Falcons, the Falcons bro. The Falcons are still not here, bro. I, I, I still don't. I mean, they, they are a good team. They have great potential, but. The offense still not there, bro. Bro, division is bro. Division is division, bro. They got a big game tomorrow. Yeah, the they, play, they play. Tampa Bay tomorrow. Yeah, that's gonna be a good game. That's gonna. Be then they they gonna lose to Tampa Bay. Then they gonna lose the thirteen. And then they gonna lose it. Who they play on the thirteen? Is that the Panthers? <laughs> <laughs> he tried to slip that. Well, I think because I, I know they scheduled for for they for do. some reason. They do. They play the Panthers the thirteen. Yeah, God no. Don't even I don't know, man. Andy Dalton has revitalized that offense, bro. Y'all gotta be joking, bro. But I feel like Atlanta, Atlanta is getting better throughout the season, though. Like we haven't seen the best of them. Uh, do we? Also, I, I think we need to talk about the Jets. The New yeah, York. we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who put up nine points this weekend against the Denver Broncos and lost 
to Bo Nix, giving him the first win of his career. Oh, wait, no. i take that back. Whoa. Their second win, the second win of, the, of, of his career. Bo Nix threw for 60 yards and won the game. Bro, that's crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bo Nix threw 60 yards. Cortland Sutton 25 yards. Bro, bro, he threw the ball 25 times. He got 60 yards. 2.4 yards a throw. Nah. He I'm smiled. Sorry, he, probably threw, he probably threw for like, see, some of them are uh, negative plays. Yeah. He had he threw four negative pass plays and won the game. What he is was going smiling. on in New York? He was, uh, hold on, let me go look at Bryce Young. Brees Hall this. had four rushing yards. Dun, Ten dun, carries. Dun. Bro, the New York Jets. That's who Devontae Adams might end up. Aaron Rodgers might say, bring him back. He That's not going to help them. It's not going to help not. them. No, they yeah. just didn't. They, they had an injury a few weeks ago in the office alignment, right? Morgan Moses. Right? Aaron Rodgers can't move back there in the pocket. He got sacked five times. You want to know why? Because you with the, never mind. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna say, bro. Because I'm 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 not winning any. Uh, I, it's only it's only one. I only I only answer to one living God. No cap. You went to go pray over that Achilles to somebody that's a box that's in a box, and now you're in a box in that backfield and you can't move. That's your problem. You go for 42 attempts. You complete 24. This is not the Aaron Rodgers that used to tear Rodgers in Green Bay. It's just not. Simply. Is it because he ain't got no guys with him? He got – no, he brought Alan, Alan Lazard with him. Alan Lazard. Mike Williams is back. Garrett Wilson is. Yeah, like I said, he got any guys with him because Garrett Wilson not looking like that guy. Garrett Wilson. Like, it's because of that weak-ass jersey, bro. Why are you nah. wearing a sleeve jersey in 2024? You want to be like Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill do it. Tyreek Hill is five foot five. He can get away with it. Garrett Wilson going to be extra baggy, bro. Like it's 2004. Uh, the jersey's too big. That's all it is. That shit stink, bro. Um, but yeah, the Jets' offense sucks, bro. And 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 like I said, let's get into these payments, bro. Because this is first quarter of the season. Down, mm-hmm. we one quarter in. Who is MVP front runner? Bro, they might have just lost. Nah. But what's a better answer? No cap. Bro, undefeated. Numbers say it. Lead the league in touchdowns. And yards. And they're undefeated. Wait, your yards still? Do you lead in the yards still? I think Gino. Yeah, Gino leads the league in yards. What number is him? He's not top five. Oh, okay. That's because he doesn't have to be. But he leads the league in points. You know, I mean, such as touchdowns. Josh Allen, bro. After they just got smoked by the Baltimore Ravens? I hear what you're saying. And I think we just saw the Ravens' identity at its peak. And if they play like that, bro, there's nobody stopping them, bro. Derrick Henry Henry went back in the time portal for that. Yeah. Josh Allen got nine TDs on the season, 800 yards. I'm including the two rushing touchdowns, by the way. Um. He had bro, bro. He has no teammates. Sam Donald has the best wide receiver in the league. You said most valuable. Josh Allen get hurt, bro. They're taking bills off of cable television. No cap. Who they got on their defense? You didn't, y'all didn't even remember. Y'all don't even remember Von Miller on that defense. I know somebody on Von that Miller, defense. That's because Von Miller get he just got suspended. suspended. Yeah. But that's because Von Miller's not the best defensive he was player Sunday. on that team right now. He was playing Sunday. Who's yeah. playing? Who 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 the best he's player not, on the on, he's on not the defense? The life right? for that defense, though. I mean, Eric. Who the best right now? What's his What's his name? Bro, it's only Johnson? one player that leads them in. Style. Um, yeah. Hold on, let me go to sack leaders. What's his name? Who the best, who the best player, Eric? Who puts the who's life in that defense? 
Oh, you talk about all around. Well, one of my boys, I ain't gonna say their name, Seven Bill. Um, he the heartbeat of the team. TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Nah. But if that don't give an argue, if that don't, if that don't have a case for Josh, I don't, I don't know what to do, bro. Okay, I, I respect it. I feel like those are top two. Um, who? Coach of the year. Ed Oliver is who I was thinking of. Ed you talking about best, best, best coach? Yeah, yeah, fair. Yeah. I feel like coach of the year goes to like the whole coaching staff. Nah, yeah. nah, nah. I get well. Nah, I can't even say. I can't even say what I was gonna say because the defense looked trash. Never mind. Who? Dan Quinn. Oh yeah. And that's, and that's literally what they brought him to Washington for. Good defensive coach. Yeah. So I can't say that. Don't worry, bro. I mean, Washington look cool, bro, but it's cool, bro. Who wants to play next week? Y'all hyping them up a little too egregious, bro. Because the Eagles and the Cowboys, they already, you know, exchanging a film on podcast. They got, they got the Browns, bro. Easy. They got the Browns and then the Ravens. If they put up 30 on the Browns, then their offense puts up 30 on the Browns. Then... No, they'll do that because the Browns defense suck. I know that word, the fantasy. <laughs> um, suck. Offensive player of the year. Mm. Right now. After what we just saw. Let me let me let me check. Let me check some. Let me check some numbers. Cause I want to say somebody. I want to say somebody. You no. Know, we know. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. If you can guess who I'm if you can guess who you think I'm gonna say, I'll give you Derek Henry. No. No. You gotta say Lamar. Derek Henry's a good. What you mean, Derrick Henry's had two good games. Okay. 480. He was in a box. He was in a box the first. Uh, 480 and 75% of that came from two games. Sam um, Darnold. Just going to go on another quarterback. I respect. Right now, yes. I, I'm not mad at that. I ain't, I'm not even gonna contest that. I would say Saquon keeping Philadelphia afloat. If it wasn't for Saquon Barkley, uh, the stadium, the stadium of the Eagles would have been exploded by now. Yeah, absolutely. C four blowed up. Yeah, absolutely. Defensive player of the year right now. Defensive player of the year. Aiden. <clears throat> Is anybody playing defense? Aiden Hutchinson going crazy. I'm not mad at that. Yeah. Who is the best rookie wide receiver? Rookie wide receiver or rookie of the year? Is there is, are those two different answers? Yeah. Jaden Davis is the rookie of the year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You heard that here yeah. first. Uh, yeah, you did. You did say that. Uh, I was. I was wrong. It was the fanning. <sighs> the same. How I'm long? So it's, a, it's such long? a shame that I'm wrong. How it's long is Malik Neighbors out? This one week, right? Boy, that's boy. A, because he can single, old. bro. He can single handedly save Danny Penny's job yeah. for a year. Or I don't two. think he needs to do that. I don't think he needs to do that. I think he needs to sit out for the rest of the year. <laughs> He's about oh, to what they what they say about what you call it DUI. He has a severe. Um, um, uh, concussion. So he need to sit out for the rest of the year. Yeah, because he's gonna save Daniel Jones' job, and New York's gonna be sick. Because the way he was cooking, I mean, the way he put barbecue chicken on that Dallas. Okay. That's he right. And that play he got concussed on. He caught the ball on yeah. Trayvon Diggs. If he didn't pass out, that would have been a crazy. <laughs> Okay, it's been a crazy catch, and they okay. would have been in contention to make a better play to win the game. But sometimes, you know, people get knocked out a little further than that, come back, and they're even better than they were at first. Sometimes, some of them knock. He can come be the heartbeat of that offense, bro. Like, bro, it's scary to say. It's crazy bro. what he can do because he had what twelve for one twenty. Nah, go get on Twitter to talk about some. I'm the last corner that follows. <laughs> I'm the last of all dying breed. He had 12 for 120. Is that what you want to put out on? Well, <laughs> well, you might you might want to switch to zone, brother. Yeah, well, that's no. crazy. <laughs> but and, and 
it's like when he did follow though, it was it was shut down. When he did guard him, should I say it was shut down? But um, you didn't was follow. it shut down or was it unhappy? Yeah, it was like it was like two for five, 16 yards, a couple pass breakups. Um, it's all there, but he put up 120, bro. Don't go talking like that on Twitter. Um, no cap. Yeah. Um, but like I said, Marvin Harrison, bro, um, he has a better quarterback. I think he's in a better situation. His numbers is underwhelming, though. Very underwhelming. What are his numbers? Where the, where the fantasy? Like what? He probably got what? 150 yards a month, no, four games? Something like that. He got 240, bro. Bro, one, one, one game he had 32 yards. To be fair, though, to be fair. One game he had zero. Don't. Bro, Don't believe neighbors be getting like 15 plus targets a game. Yeah, I mean as a get, wide receiver, that's kind of wow. You don't get 12 uh catches on 10 targets. Yeah, he be he be cooking, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marvin Harrison, bro, tighten up. Marvin Harris, bro, I he gets six three. targets, eleven targets, and eight targets. Hold he on, hold on. Hold on. Hold up, Marvin Harrison. I didn't draft you for no reason, but you know who got drafted for no reason? Christian McCaffrey. Put your hands <laughs> up. This is a robbery. Get on the ground right now. I'm itching this shit. No, <laughs> no cap, bro. Itching. No cap, bro. <laughs> I feel like I hope I'm, I'm going to just say it, bro. To the San Francisco 49ers organization, I hope you never see a Super Bowl again. To Coach Kyle Shanahan, if you knew he was injured and you told your running back, bro, we drafted Wednesday. First game was Thursday. Now they talk about the nigga. It went from his knee to his Achilles to both Achilles. What is you talking about, bro? Like, come on, bro. He actually, there's a possibility he might Luke Kikili out of this league, bro. No cap. And it was a it was a great career. Uh, he he hit a look on two franchises, bro. That's tough. Ran it off on the plug twice. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro, it's crazy, bro. It's really crazy. Um, that's the only downside about these running backs, though. Like, although they're starting to shine a little bit, we see Derrick Henry. You know what I'm saying? Going to Stars or Saquon Barkley saving the Eagles. Alvin Kamara going federal. The durability of them is like. Ah, because everybody we just named. Andrew. Other than Derek. Yeah, other than Derek. So with all that being said, though, I know we talked about what coach might be the first one out of there. Who is sizzling? Like, who whose seat is is hot right now? And it's you, a don't, you don't have a top five paid quarterback, and you're the last team in the NFL, and you think you can get – you keep your job. Doug Peterson, he talking you're about – number one. I think he's like one in ten in his last eleven games. He, yeah. They asked him about his record. He was like, "I don't mean nothing. What does that have to do with my job security?" Okay. Yeah. Okay. Keep yeah. talking. Right out of here. You're out of there. You're gonna be the first guest on I said yo. <laughs> <laughs> no cat, bro. Um, another coach. I think Brian Dayball got to start having conversations, bro. Respectfully. The coach of the year, what two years ago already, bro. That's a whole different team than what it was. No Saquon. Um, I think I think look slightly different. I'll say I'll say this. It depends if the decisions come down to him and not the GM. Mm. Mm. So if it was his fault that Saquon is saving the Eagles, and you're you we got it all family dogs. We it's it's documented. The GM. It's the GM, right? Yeah. yeah. He should have listened to his son, but anyway, um, heard that before. So yeah, I don't think I don't think it's I don't think you can put the no well, you can't, but I don't I wouldn't put the blame on him. It's the GM that got to go first. That's how it go, man. Um, you know they go from the ground up. Um, it's gonna be Danny okay. Dimes first, then Dable, then they'll get to the GM. But um, that's a good answer. Um, let's talk about let's keep it in that division. Honestly, Cowboys. I was gonna say start with Nick Sirianni. Nick Sirianni's got to go. Yeah, because 
him and Jalen Hurts are fighting over who going to give the pregame speech. Um, that's not good for the locker room. Do, and Mike McCarthy, too. Um, do they? Do be they, on the high seat? Is he? I don't know. Jerry I don't know. Jones, that's whatever he wants to do. He's flying into practice on a helicopter. Bro, I've seen that, bro. Somebody like, was like, you better have Devontae, Devontae Adams on that day. Bring no cap. Like you better say, voila. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bring bring yeah. Amari Cooper back. Freaking <laughs> He don't wear no ring, yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerry Jones does what we want to do. Um, but I think Nick Sirianni's seat is higher than Mike McCarthy's. Do do the do AJ and the, and Smith come back this week? That is also fair. Um, that is also fair. But I, I, it, those are three quarterback. Those are three coaches. What other coach? Do we um, need to talk about Mike McDonald? He lost his quarterback, but they also ain't scored a touchdown since what? You talking about Mike McDaniel? Oh, Mike McDaniel. Yeah. Mike McDaniel, he lost his quarterback, but that offense looks terrible. If they lose in New England, might have to. They ain't scored a touchdown since, what, two, three weeks ago? Um, I'm telling you, bro. If they have in trouble, I know, I know, I know the secret, bro. Play Wildcat like he used to. You beat Miami. I mean, you beat the Patriots. Just go no back cap, to Wildcat, bro. bro. And yeah, no cap, bro. You ha- you literally <laughs> can play Wildcat with anybody on that team. No okay, cap, bro. Three, three good running backs. Well, one's a- or you can run it with Tyreek Hill or Jalen Waddle. Yeah. You You're got- not beating them to the outside. You got four or five options you want to do. And that's why I say, yeah. is Mike, McDan- Mike McDaniel right? Mm-hmm. Is Mike mm-hmm. McDaniel – is that a conversation we need to have? Because, like you say, he's, he still has all these weapons, but they just look terrible. Because the thing is, the, the, the team looked trash when Tua was still healthy. Mm-hmm. That's the only and, problem. It's like, bro, and it, you weren't moving the ball either way. You yeah. lose your defensive end again. Yeah, Jalen. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, bro. He might, he might retire, bro. Because was that three didn't, years didn't, in a row? Then he didn't he pop it last year. Huh? Bro, what? What did he pop? Chris? His Achilles. Right. <laughs> All right. Pop that shit. Pop that shit. He saw his way. I was in love with another video. Um, that boy ain't too deep. I think it was Bradley Chubb. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Bradley Chubb who was out. Or he's not nah, right. both of them. Both of them got hurt last year. Yeah. So they lost their whole defense last year. That was the issue last year. Yeah, it'd be it'd be hard to get them out of there though without the quarterback. And one know. more and one more name I would throw in there is Man, Nick people. Nick Siri, not Nick Siri, I need, uh, Robert Saylor. Because like I said, exactly. y'all, have, y'all have everything y'all need. Like wait, um, wait, wait. he's a defensive coach though. Yeah, but that for offense, crash. The offense need help. Who do you coach for again? But the coach, but the coach that what's the, what's the coach name? What's the officer coordinator name? Um, oh, and the dude from Green Bay. Um, and he was just at uh, Denver. Um, Mac, 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 hack it, hack it, hack it, hack it. Nathaniel Hackett. Yeah. He All right. Might be in trouble. Let me throw three other teams in there. Coaches. Well, um, I, I look. I know. Tennessee head coach. I can't think of his name right now. Mike Babe. No, he's not the coach no more. This is his first year coaching. What? Yeah, they did for they did get rid of him. Oh, it's a whole new coach. Mike Babe was not the coach. He's like a he's, defensive coordinator somewhere. He's he's good then. Yeah. Is this is this Arizona Cardinals coach first year as well, right? I think it would be. Yeah, because Kingsbury is in Washington. Washington yeah. 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 yeah, so this is first year. Now, cook with me now. There's no reason the Bengals should be sitting at one and three. That's fair. You got to switch something up. Zach Taylor, yeah. Get into the Super Bowl. The first thing that's on is the coach. Nah. What's, nah, what, what, what's he starting with? 
<clears throat> I think it's changing the identity of that offense. They got to worry about what they want to do with the offense first. Yeah. What? How many receivers they want to sign? And they need a running back, so yeah. they are in a bad position. I think Joe Mixon looks like the biggest mistake for them. Even though he's been hurt the past three weeks. Yeah, that's crazy. Huh? He's been, been hurt the last three weeks? Shout out to Nico Collins, baby. What a pull. What a pull. Don't worry about it. 33 points. Go. <laughs> two and two, baby. We trucking. Shout out Kyle Pitts, bro. Shout out Kyle Pitts. Shout out Patrick Mahomes, bro. That's all I got to say, bro. That's where you played this week. Uh, you know, the Bengals are in trouble. It's just like, bro, sometimes we be quick to blame the coach, but it's like, bro, player performance, bro. Joe Burrow? Bro. Nah, player performance matters. Joe Burrow, almost 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns, one interception. I guess it's not his fault. Yeah, I mean, he's putting up points. That defense sucks, bro. We're talking about bottom three, four, five defenses. You have the Bengals, you have the Cardinals, and you have the Commanders. Those some you don't have you don't have the Panthers? Are we, is this a fake list? <laughs> is this a what yeah. list are you looking at? Are you are you he fake? Said bottom you three, five. He said NFL three, defense. Four, five. Oh, okay, okay. He said okay. NFL defense is not varsity football. <laughs> no <I'm> joking. <laughs> Is the Panthers defense that bad? Um, we have pop stars at cornerback, so I mean, you tell me. You tell me. Yeah, we have pop stars. At, we have Michael J- Jackson. He just got hurt. Meantime, I'm all up on him. Hmm. That's why we saw Caleb Farley. Bro, am I tweaking? They Bro, have, Caleb Farley and they only had him listed as a football team. And JC, I mean, and JC uh, Horn on the same team. Yeah, giving up the most points in the league. The forty-seven in the opening week is what they did. Mm, yeah, no, yeah. that didn't help. That didn't help, but yeah, for sure. But um, yeah, for sure. You got the Bears next week. Yeah. Wait, do that mean Dallas yeah. is bottom two? Yeah, they bottom five in points. Yeah. Of, yeah, we got the battle. Well, it would be the battle of the former number one picks, but it don't look like Bryce Young is going to be seeing the field. That's so sick, bro. That's so sick. Um, how's it feel, man? Go ahead and talk. Y'all. Is that this week or next week? It's this week. Mm-hmm. Oh, this week. Talk, man, get your shit off. Uh, at, at, at Chicago, I got Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> I just want them to lose out so I can get either Travis Hunter or Will Johnson, bro. I don't care, bro. You think they would go DB? Yeah. Again, I'm like, bro, they go – bro, I haven't dealt with a lot of things with this team. If they go quarterback in this year's draft, I will absolutely flip, bro. <laughs> like, we will – I promise, we record on Wednesdays. We will have to record that day at that night just so we can record my meltdown, bro, because I promise you – if they draft one of these quarterbacks, I don't give a damn who it is. One of those quarterbacks this year, I lose my shit, That's bro. That's hilarious. JC Horn, not it. No, I have no problem with JC Horn, but in this league, I mean, I want another DB too. I don't just want JC Horn. I want it all. Right. You said what? Derek Brown's injured, right? Yeah, and we. This is the first year we signed him to a contract. He's locked up. He's good. J.C. Horn gets paid next on our team. Is Shaq Thompson on the field? Shaq Thompson just got hurt this week. Yeah. He's out of there. He's retired. Mm. But you don't, you don't, you don't draft. You don't draft from linebacker top ten. When the last time you seen that? Last time you seen that, the linebacker got switched to a DN. Mm. Andy Dawn's trying to win, bro. I don't give a damn. I'll bench my damn self. He ain't trying to win. He's just trying to look good. It's two different things. Any dogs trying to win, bro? He's trying to look good. Um, that coach, he needs to win. Um, it was very hard for y'all. Y'all gave up a terrible draft, a terrible trade. Um, was it terrible? Oh, Did anybody win? DJ Moore is another name that's allegedly on that wide receiver trade block. Because I, I think Cabe, they want to rely on Cabe's, Cabe, 
Caleb's mm-hmm. chemistry with Rome, obviously that's the future. Yeah. Keenan Allen and DJ Moore might be a little overkill. You get more for DJ Moore than Keenan. That's crazy. He's not happy that's, in Chicago. He wants to that's, that's wild, but it makes sense. Because sometimes Rome's you get somebody hurt. too many weapons, they don't know what to do. Obviously, Caleb Williams. Um yeah, it's like, bro, if you ain't gonna know what to do, yeah. you get some for some. And DJ Moore is a name, bro, that might end up. And then, and then you can use that draft pick and get a running back. Yeah, you know what I mean. Basically, what you're saying is Chicago has um, hard knocks their way into people becoming fans again, and we should have just, you know, did more hobbies during the summer instead of watching that bullshit. That's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling me. Because, bro, on paper, bro, we shouldn't be stopped. We've yeah, been stopped every week. Uh, the quarterback who we have our punter just won yeah, every the week. Our yeah. punter, the same dude that Caleb hey. Williams said, you're not gonna have to punt that much. He's literally exactly. punting more than any other punter in the league. And that was That's the best crazy. draft pick of the draft. That was the now the pick. now the pin. I mean, now the Bears want to win off of kicks. That's now at now, all times. Now they want to win off of kicks in the era of post double doink. <laughs> Right, that's right. very fair, bro. Um, like I said, though, that that Panthers game, bro, better to sh- bowl. Um, we'll see how that plays out in Carolina. You know, we got two fans here. But no, it's in it's in Chicago. Or two, I was in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Two fans. I went to Chicago last night. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that go. Um, we call round on that because the NBA did have a. Blockbuster trade last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was kind of in the talk of the post. You know what I mean? Talk of the postseason. It was can the Timberwolves? No, no. Should the who? Which one of them twin towers was the Timberwolves going to get rid of? Was it going to be Rudy? Was it going to be Cat? They shipped Cat out and they brought Julius Randle back in. Um, and that is now a New York Nick. New York has been very active this off season. Does this change the trajectory of the East? Does it change the trajectory of the West? Who won the trade? At, at first, I was like, why did you get rid of Cat? First of all, we know why they didn't get rid of Rudy. Let's be honest. Who wants Rudy? Definitely yeah, for the dollar. He has no trade value. Yeah, definitely at the dollar dollar mode he's at right now. And then I was thinking of it. I said, you know what? Ant did win them. What was it? Was it game five? What game was it? It was the game seven game series. He won one of the games for him, like flat out. His three point shooting saved them. But you got Nas Reed is cheaper and he can ball given the opportunity. Yeah. So I was like, you, you got a cheaper option. Let him ball out. And clearly his team. We know that now. Well, we've been on that. But it's clearly his team now. Rudy, I don't know if you're going to start or come off the bench. But, you know, you come and play your good defense. On You do you, buddy. Um, I think I think it also helps with scoring. With with the uh, – how you say his name? Not Julius Randle. No, Chris. Even Tenzo? Tenzo, Yeah. I, I think he helps out a lot. I think that's the best pickup. The the Randall, I think that was also a money a money dump. And the Hornets was a part of that trade too. Let's get to that one second because I did not know that, <laughs> bro, bro. I see someone say three team trade. Rudy, um, Julius Randall when he weighs off and it's gonna be. TV worthy. I swear to God, if I'm if I'm if I'm Ant and and you Julius Randall and you wave me off like you got a one on one, yeah, I'm, sorry, no. I'm calling timeout. I'm calling that's timeout. A, that, okay, that's a great point. And I'm sitting here I'm listening to what you're saying, and I'm like, bro, the Timberwolves might have won it. With, with, yeah. You said Nas Reed, DiVincenzo, but then you said the last point right there. Yeah, he's but he's. It's not gonna work. I think. It will work because he's not going to – he's going to know his role. 
You have a different role. You have a different role. Um, you wouldn't have seen Raven you, off said when Randall weighs off Ant. Bro, Ant, if, if I'm Ant, he weighs me off, I swear I'm calling the timeout. I don't care if it's our last one. You're not doing that. Not on my team. <laughs> our problem is, hold on, what, what, what person is like to say? He's from Atlanta. Yeah. Uh-uh, he ain't doing yeah. You're not going for that. I, I do think I do think it does clear way for Anthony Edwards. Um, That was crazy. Um, I think I think it's just like, bro, there was no game for bringing Julius Randle to the Timberwolves for the Timberwolves. And I don't think the Knicks gain anything for bringing Cat to the Knicks. I think they just basically, like, took a, two fit teams and pulled them away from each other. Like, bro, like, the Knicks got a softer Julius Randle. No. And the Wolves got a more selfish Carl Anthony Towns, a more unhealthy Carl Anthony Towns. So it's like, bro, what is the benefit? I think the De- DiVincenzo was to steal. Although they didn't need, I don't think they needed any more wings. I think they need another point guard. What other point guards do they have other than Mike Conley? Rob Dillingham. Yeah, on the bench. The draft. The NBA draft. Right. The bench. Um <clears throat> I, I, I think we're gonna see we're gonna see how Julius Randle fit in that offense, but I don't but, know. So I think the thing with the Knicks was I mean Julius Randle they they had a very successful season without him. So dumping him is a plus plus plus. They're not losing nothing. Yeah. They got better oh. without him. And that's not all. It wasn't just two players that were involved. It was multiple teams. Like I said, the Hornets was the third team. A bunch of men. They got a lot. I don't know how the Hornets got as much as they got for what they gave up. What did they get? They got Charlie Brown, whoever that is. The Quan Jeffries. I watch these TV show, Charlie Brown. (laughs) The Quan Jeffries, whoever that is. Dwayne Washington Jr., whoever that is, two future second round picks, a 2025 second round pick, and cash. Nothing. They got cash. That's all they got. Ass and cash. <laughs> <laughs> but they gave up. They gave up their draft pick from this year, uh, James Najee. But, hey, um, but hold on, I'm tripping, bro. Just because they got Julius Randle, don't mean he's gonna start. Because I think we forget we got Jay McDaniels. We got Jay McDaniels at the three. Yeah, and we could put Niles Reed at the four and keep Sucky Boy at the five. I think Niles Reed. I think Niles Reed still six man. Is yeah, they're cool. gonna keep him no. as man. Julius Randle is a twenty and ten, bro. He's twenty and ten. So, so you got Niles Reed. That's a. I ain't gonna lie. That's a mean second team. You are gonna have Da Vinci. Like the pizza, and you gonna have Rob? No, Michael Conley. Mike Conley gonna start? No, he's not. You don't think Mike Conley gonna start? He's 37, 36. <laughs> Great boy. <laughs> but like hey, that, that's, a, that's a very that's a very that yeah. that that's a very tough bench. Yes, but I don't know for what he. It depends. All right, but back and forth. One of them two. But he won't finish the season as a starter. Okay, one of them two coming off the bench. So you got one of them at point guard. You got Rob shooting guard. You got Joe still as the backup small forward. You got Nas Reed. I mean, that's and McDaniel's, and that's your second team. McDaniel's is not. Is it, McDaniel's is starting, bro. I did not mean to say that. You're right. I apologize. I just meant to name four people. That four is that's a that's a solid backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they kind of they kind of got some. They kind of won. Yeah, yeah. Julius Randle has been averaging twenty plus. I mean, honestly, for the last what five six years, nineteen and a half in twenty twenty, but that was cold. Um, round up twenty plus, bro, and nine rebounds, bro, for the last four or five seasons. You lose the shooting in Carl Anthony, um, but Julius Randle is a better. He has he is he's more of a guard than he has more better guard skills than Carl Anthony, should I say? Um, 
Carl Anthony, let me see. How many rebounds is he getting at seven feet, bro? What do you mean? I mean, Carl Anthony Towns still the greatest player of all time. I mean, because you, because y'all no, acting like it's the even no more. trade, bro, and it's not, bro. Those are two different players. Carl These Anthony. Girls in New York. He's sick, bro. He's sick. He's sick. He's sick. He's sick. He's sick. Yes, um, but uh, well, Anthony, you are losing a great three point shooter for a big man and in general. Last season, he shot 42% from three, which is crazy. Insane player. Um, 21 and eight and three. Julius Randle was 24, nine and five. So it's you're not getting the same player, bro. Um, yeah, Carl is a better three point shooter. They probably just wanted to shake something up, bro. I don't know. But like I said, for the Knicks, they were successful without Julius Randle. Susie, I don't I can't remember how far they got. Two seed in the conference, bro. So they essentially did not lose nothing in this trade. But they lost Dante DiVincenzo, breaking up the Villanova four. But they still brought in Mikael Bridges. I don't know what he got going on this year, though. Um been seeing him in training camp. It looked like he's jump shot. shot. Right. I don't know if he's playing around or what, but we see Ben Simmons do that every year. Ben Simmons, bro. Oh, talk about robbery. Uh is the biggest thief coming back this year? You know, they, you know how that cycle goes. Um off season clips. Another once again. Once Plays again. two weeks, spasms, sits out. You know how the cycle goes. Oh, no, I was talking about Lonzo Ball. Oh, this Lonzo Ball said he got a whole new knee. We'll see how that plays out. Mermaid man. Uncle boy. Um, Bulls, though, they got rid of DeRozan. DeRozan's in Sacramento. Um, the media day picks are rolling in, bro. You know, um, Bonnie and Chicago. Bob. Is getting realer and realer. Yeah. My father likes son. Very tough. Brian said, I seen him grab a rebound at five, and he just went coast to coast. And I was like, yeah, he's special. And you know what? I ain't going to say nothing, bro. Cause <laughs> Take the mic away from him, bro. Like, at this point, I'm just disappointed in LeBron, bro. It's a lot going on with LeBron right now. You know, yeah, let's talk numbers. Nah, we're not. Let's talking. talk numbers. Nah, we nah, we can't discuss. Not talk about Ain't no us. party like a. Okay, we out of here. Hey, man, we gonna call they around got episode eighty four. You want to say <laughs> call ah, any Numbers, man. LeBron is a career twenty seven point per game. Hooper. Yeah. You know what else costs twenty seven dollars? The big bottle of baby oil. But when oh. there's a certain party in attendance. His numbers jumped by five points per game to 32. All right. Anyway, no, nah, that's a fact. I'm logging out. That's a fact. Like, that's a proven fact. Let's talk numbers, bro. You've been invited. Ain't You've no been party. invited. Ain't no party like a who party? <laughs> You've been invited. It's a Diddy party. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Hold on, wait. What did he say? Class of 85. Yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Yeah, we, <laughs> but we're getting out of hand, bro. Oh, for real though, bro. He that? got a lot left in the tank, bro. He said after the Olympics, he realized he has a lot left in the tank. Like I said, he was probably the best player on the Olympic team, if not second best. Um, the he tank. Said he, he, his son's there, and now he he seems like he has second life or new life. In his career, you know, last season it was like, yeah, it was a drag. Once the Lakers start losing, though, he'll he'll come off his little high horse. But yeah, so you got a lot left in the tank, man. Does this mean ring number five? No, nah, not nah, absolutely not. Playing team, boy, that boy's got Rui Achimura at the starting four. No, nah. Clay Thompson got new threads. Um, come back. Blockbuster trade, Thunder. Everybody made good moves this season, and um, Lakers' biggest move was signing Bronny James Jr. 
tough. And Steph Curry, bro, he only he Golden State's cook, bro. Mm -hmm. We asked him what he thought about his team. He said, "We can be relevant." Hey, keeping it honest, bro. They're cooked, bro. When he started crying last year, you know he just. He's at that Tamil man. Truth is, I'm weak. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's at his breaking point, bro. Yeah, he's at his breaking bro, point. I'm glad he won that gold medal, though. No cap, off the bat. Yeah. Hey, y'all think? Katie's not. He might nowhere. get traded. No. Steph Curry's not going nowhere, bro. Because can you bring somebody to Golden State? You can't, bro. And all they can do is just. Like, like they're proven ever since Bob Myers and um, Jerry West went went away, bro. They're not interested in winning no more, bro. They're they're just gonna they're gonna what's the word? They're gonna ride Steph Curry's coattails to the can no more for the tickets. Tickets, that, bro. They're not they're not interested yeah. in winning no. Because as soon as you get rid of Curry, you're going back to the. Blue and orange. They Golden might, State Warriors. They might send them back to Oakland. And Oakland mm. had <laughs> Oakland done lost all of their sports teams. <laughs> and they yeah. might send a human team. Oh, uh, right. Uh, are we gonna call around gentlemen? And <laughs> <laughs> even under the radar, um Philadelphia got new threads, Paul George, best trio in the league, right? And they said MB down 25 pounds. For what? Yeah, that's not good. I mean, it might be easier on his knees, bro. You know, he he be here <laughs> hurt. I'm not even looking at the camera, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Sometimes you gotta. Hey, what happened to KD? Go back to the Warriors. That's the best thing they can do. Honestly, I okay. I feel like that is the that is the best move they can make for all parties. That is the best move they can make, honestly. Um, but yeah, they man. Get Kaminga, I, they get KD. Yeah, the Kaminga. They don't. They don't know what to do with Kaminga. Yeah, straightforward. But like I said, though, I I mentioned it, bro, uh, a couple of minutes ago. I was like, the Olympics, bro. It always plays into the season. Um, Brian says he has new life in his in his uh, career. We'll see how the rest of the participants' um, season plays out. We call round on that though. That's episode eighty-four. 